Today I'm going to show you how to fix a leaking transmission in your car. Now in this case it was easy to figure out what was going on because it was losing transmission fluid and leaking on the bottom, so we'll jack it up and check where the leak is. Now transmissions generally leak in one of three places, either the pan is leaking, the gasket, in which case it's dry, it's not that, or the front main seal of the transmission, which is a real job because you have to pull the transmission off the car, but that's still dry. And the third place where they often leak are the seals where the axle shaft goes into the side of the transmission, which is the case here. We can see it's all wet. Now the seal itself is no big deal. There's one on each side, but we got to take all this stuff apart in order to get the seal off, so let's get going. First we take off the wheel, and we have to take the tie rod. We'll take the nut off, and here's a trick. You get a big sledgehammer like this, and whack it. Off it comes. Then we take off the nut that holds the axle shaft in place, off it comes. Then we take off the nuts and bolts that hold the hub onto the strut, then the axle wiggles out, we got to go behind and pry it out. You just get a good pry bar, stick it up against the inner axle shaft and pull. And after a little wiggling, uh, out it comes. Then you go to the other side and just finish pulling it out. Out it comes. And here's the seal right here. We'll just pop it out with a seal puller. Very handy tool. Just fits right in there and pops it out. And here's the old seal and the seal puller tool. You can get it at any auto parts store. Then you get the new seal. Get yourself a little extension for a socket, and you can hammer it in all the way around the edge with a hammer. First, you place the seal in the hole so it's flush. Then you tap it in, working the whole way around until it's sealed the whole way in. Now here's a trick I learned years ago. There's a little clip on the end of here, and they have a tendency of falling down and getting stuck. So you get a tube of grease, then you stick it on the end and pull it off. The grease will then hold the clip in place, so when you put it in a transmission, the clip won't get stuck and break. Then you just place it in the hole and tap it in, so it snaps in place. Then you just assemble it all back together again, put the shaft in the hub, and bolt the strut back on. Now of course I'm going to put a seal on the other side too, because it was starting to drip. They're both going to wear about the same, but I'm not going to show that, because it's just the same thing, only on the other side. And of course remember to check the transmission and fill it up for the fluid that was lost. So the next time your transmission seals start leaking, why not replace them yourself? And remember, if you have any car questions, just visit the Scotty Kilmer channel. And I'll answer them as soon as I get back from paradise. Assuming I come back.